Good evening time again. Black Duck UDX 294 here again. Figured I'd back up and make this like part 2.5. Sorry, got the police on over here. Part 2.5 of the Galaxy DX 959 because in the last video, you know, I showed the 10KC mod in operation, but I didn't actually show how to do it. And so I'm trying to slow down a little bit and actually show how all this stuff is done as I go along because there's not really any good videos out there that I've found on doing some of this stuff. And uh, I'm one that learns better by, by seeing it. So uh, now this is published online, easy to find, but sometimes seeing it makes it easier. I'm that way. So for the 10KC mod, all you're doing is reprogramming pin 16 of the PLL chip. So let me get a little uh, something to poke with here. So obviously this is your PLL chip, these two rows, and pin 16 is right here. So the first thing you want to do is cut the trace between pin 16 and this next pad right here. And then bridge that cut, cut trace with a 4.7K ohm resistor. That's what I've got here. I heat shrunk it up just to avoid any, uh, you know, the lead shorting out on anything else because that could uh, be bad in this section of the radio. And then you need three wires and a double throw switch. So this blue wire is tied directly to pin 16 and it goes to the common terminal of your switch or the middle terminal. And when I say double throw switch, it's on off on three position switch and then all you do for the other, the actual switched terminals on the switch, one goes to board ground and one goes to eight volts. And theoretically you could pick that ground and that eight volt up anywhere in the radio. That is a good ground and a good stable eight volt source. But what I did, I just picked up the ground here at the PLL chip and the eight volt source for the PLL chip. So the blue wire from pin 16 goes to the center terminal of the switch and then one goes to ground, one goes to eight volts, and depending on the position of the switch and which channel you're on, it's gonna go up or down 10 KCs to get these skipped channels. And the interesting thing about doing it is, you know, in the CB band, there's channel 3A, 5A, 7A, 11A, 15A, and 19A. I think that's all of them. But when you do the channel expansion, like I've shown in the part one, when you're in those upper and lower channels, it skips at those same points. So like if you're in the lower channels on channel three, well, there's still a 10K skip. So it allows you to get all those other channels too in the other uh, bands. So it's worth doing. And one thing I did show in the last video is that I did mount the switch over here on the side of the radio. And that's not something I was really super crazy about having to do and I didn't really even talk about how I tried to work around it because uh, you know obviously I put the channels back up put the channels here and I wanted to put the 10k up and down here on the CB GNF PA switch because I don't ever intend to use this as a PA and I don't care for the GNF uh, so I really spent some time trying to figure out how to free this switch up, but it is very, you're not gonna be able to see. I wasn't prepared to really show that. I know it's possible to do, but it's not as easy as just going in here and unplugging or rewiring something quickly to get the radio to stay in CB mode with the GNF off. Because what I ended up running into, is like when I disabled PA mode and got the radio in CB mode, well, the, the dang, channel selector would go like super dim and so I started looking further and further into it and realized that there's a lot more being done through this switch it's it's integrated into the board on about two or three different places and so I reached a point where I did not want to risk causing some kind of permanent damage by tying different things together in order to try to bypass certain functions it just wasn't worth the risk at that point, so I threw the switch on the side. Because, you know, the uh, the 10K switch is worth having, but it's not a feature you're going to use every day. So, 
I didn't care to throw it on the side even though it's not my preference but uh on the other side though I do have a parts 949 which is the same radio minus the frequency counter I have a parts 949 that is internally mutilated beyond my desire to want to try to fix it's actually the radio that I pulled the inductor out of that was cracked in this radio I'm going to play around with it at a future date and see if I can't free this switch up and if I'm able to figure it out then I'll shoot another video we'll put the down and up 10k jump here on the face that'd be my my ultimate goal but uh anyway just a quick update on how to do the 10kc switch mod with the poor man's channels thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you in part three got some uh interesting stuff we've ended up doing so we'll see y'all next time thanks